Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu wa la nabiyyina Muhammadin Wa la alihi ashabihi wa azwajihi ajmani Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajmain inshallah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Harf jar? Ismu majroo. MashaAllah. Harf jar? Ismu majroo. MashaAllah. Now, brothers and sisters, we are doing a darsul hadi wali shuruna. What is the title? Madrasati. How many words are there? Two words, yeah. Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Sahih? Uh, whenever you see two words, you got to figure out what they are. Mudaf, Mudaf lay. My school or school of mine, if you want to use of. But then this is something like we did in lesson 11. What was our lesson 11? Baiti. Remember? Aza Baiti. Baiti Amamal Masjidi. Baiti Jamilun. Fihi hadikatun sagiratun. You understand, brother and sister? Okay. Now, same way, we have now madrasati, my school. But then, in this, we'll be using extra things, you know, like kulu jama monas, and we'll be using uh, numbers and everything. Huh? Okay, brother? Hadihi madrasati. What is the translation? This is my school. Okay. See, now you are understanding it, brother. Huh? What is Hazihi? Muftada. Where is our khabar? Madrasatu. Wahua mudaf. And ya mutakallim? Mudaf. Hiya. Okay. Hiya. It is karibatun. Why karibatun and not karibun? Because Muftada is feminine, the khabar has to be feminine. That's the reason. So you got to be watchful. Muftada and khabar, they agree. In gender and in numbers. Okay? Fine. Hiya karibatun. Karibatun is your khabar. Min al masjidi jar majroor. Hiya madrasatun kabiratun. What is kabiratun? The Naat must also agree with Manut. If the Manut is mournless, the Naat is? I got the idea. You remember? Naat, Manut agree in four aspects. They agree in gender. They agree in number. They agree in case ending. When I say case ending, what do I mean? In our funny way, Dun Dan Din. <laughs> Are you with me? When I say case ending, it means dun dan din. Are you with me? They agree. And also they agree in definiteness and indefiniteness. So these are the four things we must always remember. The relation between naat and manut. So madrasatun, the naat will be kabiratun. Sahi? Put a full stop, brother. Because we want to make short sentences. And Dr. Abdurrahim in book one uses very short sentences. Laha thalathatu abu abin. So our numbers came now. Thalathatu. Why thalathatu and not thalathu? Because madud. What will you say? Madud is muzakkar. Madud means thing counted. Just we, you know, you see our. Our vocabs of Arabic terminology should also increase. Madud means thing counted. Huh? Adad, number. Very good. Laha, what can laha be? Jar majrur, shibu jumla, khabar. Huh? Okay. Where is our mubtada? Salasatu, only salasatu. Wahuwa mudaf and abwabin. Mudafili, yeah? Alhamdulillah. Now, brother, Abu Abuha Maftuhatun Al Ana. 
What is Abu Abuha? How many words are there? Two. What are they? Mudaf Mudafili. So Abu Abu is our Muktada. Wahua Mudaf. And then Ha Mudafilehi. Brother, Maftu Hatun. Why not Maftu Hun? Maftu Hatun. Kullu Jama Muhannas. Abu Abun is a Jama. Remember, Jama of Gair Akil. Huh? will be treated as a singular monas. What did I say? Jama of the things and animals and concepts. Huh? They will be treated as if they were singular monas. Huh? So that's why this sentence, Kullu jama'in monasun. This is a complete sentence. Every jama is a monas. Kullu Muftada, wa huwa mudaf, jama'in, mudaf ilahi, muanathun, is the khabar. So this sentence should always be, you know, in our mind, ready to take advantage of it. Kullu jama'in, muanathun. Very good, brother. So, abu abuwa maftuhatun. Now, if you say abu abuwa maftuhun or maftuhuna, then it will all be wrong. Huh? It has to be maftuhatun. Because we are treating abwabu as if it was a singular oneness. Only its treatment. Okay? It is still plural, brother. Al-ana. What is al-ana? Al-ana. Zarf zaman. Huh? You have to remember two things, huh, brother. If it is zarf, then we will say zarf zaman. Or Zarfo Makan. Eh? Zarfo Zaman, Edward of time or Edward of place, inshallah. We got it, brother. We come to. So far? So far, are we going fast? No. no. Why? Because now we are understanding it. That is the reason, brother. Phil Madrasati. What is Phil Madrasati? Char Maju Shibu Jumla. What is the meaning of? In the school. What is in the school, brother and sister? Fusulun. Fusulun. What is Fusulun? Jama of Faslun. Classrooms. Huh? Okay? Kulu Jama Monas. So, Fusulun Kathiratun. What is Kathiratun, brother? Not. You got the idea? Not. Huh? Fusulun. Kasiratun. In the school, there are many classrooms. How will you translate? There are many classrooms in the school. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hada. What is the next word? Fasa. Why will you make it Lina, brother? Do you like Sister Lina? <laughs> Fasa Luna. Are you with me? <laughs> you don't mind making my jokes. <laughs> he said, Lena. I said, do you like Sister Lena? Haza <laughs> fasluna. Huh? Because there is nothing there. So if Haza is mubtada, where is our khabar? Faslu. Wa huwa mudaf. Na mudaf. This is our classroom. What is it? This is our classroom. Wa huwa faslun wasiun. See, no vowel signs. We got to understand ourselves now. Wa huwa, wow is ataf. Huwa mubtada. Where is the khabar? Faslun. And what is wasiun? Not. It matches. You got the idea? Inshallah. Sister Naima, wa huwa faslun wasiun. Hada fasluna. This is our classroom. Wahua Faslun Wasyun. And it's a very spacious classroom. Huh? Spacious. Huh? Wasyun is spacious. Fihi Nafidatani Kabiratani. See, this is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. How beautifully he brings duels, he will bring numbers, he will bring Nath Manut. Fihi Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. Where is our Muptada sister uh, Arifa? 
Nafizatani. Huh? And what is Kabira Tani doing here? It's a not. MashaAllah. See, now things are becoming more clear to you. Nafizatani, it's Mubtada. Mubtada has to be Marfu. Do you think Nafizatani is Marfu? What is the sign of its being Marfu? Alif. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Very good. Kabira Tani, same. It's Marfu. It's a not. It matches. Wafihi. Makatibu wa karasiyu. What is fihi? Jar majur shibujun la khabar. Where is our Muqtada sister Aisha? Makatibu. And what is after that? Ataf. And what is karasiyu? Mautufun ala makatibu. Are you with me? Mautufun ala makatibu. Huh? Sahih? Brother Muhammad? Yes. Inshallah. Now, brother, here is makatibu. It's a plural. What is singular? Maktabun. And karasiyu. What is karasiyu? Plural. Kursiyu. Now, they come on a special pattern. And this pattern will come to us all the time. And we have to remember it, brother. What is the pattern? Mafa, ilu, and the other pattern will be Mafa Hailu. Do you see I put a single Dhamma there? What does it tell you? It is a diptot. Who said diptot? Mashallah, Mashallah, Aisha, you did well. It is a diptot. Remember that. If you see a single Dhamma, it is a diptot. What is the meaning of diptot? Today we will learn the Arabic terminology of diptot. Huh? And what is that, brothers and sisters? Diptot is called Diptot is called Al Mamnu Minasar. What is Mamnu? Forbidden, prevented huh? from declension. Brother, I, I will, in my own you know, mind, I always felt Mamnu Minasar means it's a partial declension. What is it? Partial declension, not fully declension. Fully declension, the terminology is muarabun. We will learn, inshallah. And partial declension is mamnu minas sarfi. Means it declined and then it stopped. Zainabu, Zainaba, Zainaba. Okay. Similarly, mafailu, mafaila, and then mafaila. If it is majroor, it will still be mafaila. Are you with me? So, makatibu, makatiba, and then makatiba. Okay, brother and sister. Karasiyu, karasiya, and then again, karasiya. Huh? Because it is deptot. Because it is al mamnu minasar. Mamnu means forbidden. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Wafihi jar majru shibu jamla khabar saburatun kabiratun. He's a big blackboard. So kabiratun is your naat. Saburatun is your mubtada. Haza maktabul mudarrisi. Okay? Maktabul mudarrisi. What is maktabul mudarrisi? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Okay? So, haza, mubtada, where is our khabar? Maktabu. Wa huwa mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Wa zaka. But zaka means zalika. Same thing. Zaka and zalika, same thing. Zaka, 
kursi yuhu. What is kursi yuhu? What kind of a compound is this, Sister Fatima? Kursi yuhu. Mudah mudafili. Remember that. Mudah mudafili. So zaka is your muptada. Where is your khabar, Sister Fatima? Your khabar is kursi yu. What will be your khabar? Kursi yu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then who? Mudaf ilahi. Inshallah. Wa tilka. Brother. We said zaka. And we say tilka. Why we say tilka? Tilka makatibu. Tullabi. Why we say tilka? Kullu jama muanas. Kullu jama muanas. So tilka is your mubtada, where is your khabar? Makatibu wa huwa mudaf and then tullabi mudaf ilayhi. And we will say those are the desks of the students. Those are the desks of the students. Fine, brother and sister. But then again we have tilka makatibu tullabi Wa karasiyu hum. What is karasiyu? Wow came. So what is karasiyu? Mautufun ala makatibu. It will be mautufun ala makatibu. Wa huwa mudaf. And hum mudaf ilay. Very clear. That is why I said earlier, if our understanding of mudaf mudaf ilay is very strong, things become very easy by that. Very easy. Maktabul mudarrisi kabirun. See, see the beauty of the sentences. Huh? In every sentence, Dr. Abdurrahim gives us singular, and then it gives us plural, so that we can differentiate between them how the nath manut are coming along. Maktabul mudarrisi kabirun. What is maktabu? Muftada. Wa huwa mudaf. Mudaf ilahi. And what is kabirun? Khabar. The same thing now watch. Wa makatibu. Now again makatibu is brother? Jama. Okay. Makatibu tullabi. So what is makatibu? Muftada you can say here. وَهُوَ مُدَافْ تُلَّابِ مُدَافْ Now what is the next one? سَغِيرَةٌ But why سَغِيرَةٌ brother? Because كُلُّ جَمَا مُعَنَّس كُلُّ جَمَا مُعَنَّس So our مُبْتَدَى was مَقَاتِبُ And then the khabar became singular مُعَنَّس Alhamdulillah فِي فَسْلِنَا Are you with me? فِي Faslina, okay. How many words are there? Three. Fi, Fasli, and Na. Sister Naima, you have a question? G? Makatibu Tullabi. What is Makatibu Tullabi? Compound? Makatibu Tullabi. Muda, Muda, Filihi. Makatibu Tullabi, the desks of the students are small. Sagir is small. But then Sagiratun, why did you use Sagiratun? Why not Sagirun? Because Makatib is Mudakkar. Because it is plural. So what do we do with plurals? Because if they are plurals of Gairakil, we treat them as Muannas singular. Kullu Jama Muannas. That is why we treat it Makatibu as if it was a singular Muannas. So it became Sagira Tun. This concept should be very clear, inshallah. Yes, Brother Abdul Samad. Can you explain the line before? Karasi you whom? Karasi you whom? See, Tilka. Brother, Tilka is your Muftada. So where is your Khabar? Makatibu Tullabi. And those are the students' desks. And their chairs. And their chairs. Okay, got the idea? That is why we say karasi you 
معطوفون على مكاتب ان شاء الله في فصلنا بدر ورث في فصلنا في فصلي جار مجرو شبو جمله خبر في فصلي جار مجرو شبو جمله خبر اوكي بدر انا مضاف له وير از اور مبتدا اشرتو اشرتو is your mubtada wa huwa mudhaf and tullabin is your mudhafili wa hum and ataf hum mubtada min biladin jar majru shibu jumla khabar and what is mukhtalifatin naat are you with me fine brother after that everything is halwa puri now we are going back to lesson one now what is it hadha muhammadun Hmm. What is this, brother? This is lesson number one now. Mubtada <laughs> khabar. Hadha Muhammadun. This is Muhammad. Okay. What about him? Wahua min al Yabani. Lesson number four. Huh? We studied all that in lesson number four. Wahua min al Hindi. Wahua min al Yabani. Wahua min al Sini. So it's very simple. Hadha Muhammadun. Mubtada khabar. Wahua. Wahua Mubtada. Where is our khabar? من اليابانی و هذا خالد و هذا خالد و هو من السيني و هذا احمد و هذا احمد و هذا احمد و احمد و هذا احمد و هذا احمد و هذا احمد و هذا احمد و احمد و هذا 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 احمد to make us understand mamnu min asaf dr abdurahim wants us to learn now the concept of mamnu min asaf in detail wa hadha ahmad wa hum min al hindi okay wa hadha ibrahim what is ibrahim diptot wa huwa min ghana this is from africa wa hadha ismail diptot huwa min Nigeria. Wahada Yusufu. What is Yusufu? Diptot. Women in Kaltara. Wahada Bayramu. Also Diptot. Women Turkiya. Wahada Ammarun. Is it Diptot? No. It has got Tanwin. Women al. Women Malaysia. Wahada Aliyun. Women America. Wahada Abu Bakrin. What is Abu Abu Bakrin? مداف مداف له ها وہ من یوگسلافیا یوگسلافیا اوکے بہن سسٹر ناو اٹس ا ویری بیوٹیفل سینٹنس ویری ویری بیوٹیفل سینٹنس کم ہم من بلاد مختلفت از اٹ ایزی ٹو ٹرانسلیٹ دے ار فرام ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز ہا مختلفت ہم مبتدا Where is our khabar? Min biladin. Jar majru, shibu jumla, khabar. And mukhtalifatin is the naat. Very good. Now, wow came, ataf. Now look at this, brother. Lugatuhum. What is it? Lugatuhum. Lugatun, jama, lugatun. Lugatuhum. What is the translation, lugatuhum? Their languages, huh? Their languages, huh? Lugatuhum. Where is our mubtada? Lugatu is our mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf and mudafili. Lugatuhum, brother. And the khabar is singular. Why singular, brother? Kulu jama mona. See how beautiful it is. Now we can understand. Lugatuhum, muhtalifatun. Their languages are. Different. And what is the next one? Alwanuhum. Colors. What is singular? Lawnun. What is the singular, brothers and sisters? Lawnun. Lawnun. Okay. Color. And what is the jama? Al wa. Nun. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, 
Alwanuhum, what will be Alwanuhum? Muptada, Mudah, Mudah, Lehi, Mokhtalifatun. Okay? Now, if you really want, you can also say, Wow, Ataf, Alwanu, Mautufun Allah, Logat. You want to say, I, I want to separate them. Short, short sentences. Alwanu or Alwanun? Alwanun. Because it is not on this pattern, no? Huh? Uh, this is like abna'un. Aklamun. Okay. Huh? Got the idea? Yes. Inshallah. Mukhtalifatun. Okay. Well, lakin. What is lakin? But. Dinuhum wahidun. But. B-U-T. You say in the Urdu lakin. What lakin do you Lakin hai. No, no, no. We are going to study it. We are going to study in our book two, inshallah. Lakin, Lakin, Dinuhum. What is Dinu? Two words. What are they? Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilahi. So Dinu is our Muftada. Wahuwa Mudaf. And whom? Mudaf, Ilahi. Okay, what about Dinuhum? Wahidun. This is your khabar. Huh? Dinuhum Wahidun. Wa? Rabbuhum Wahidun. See how beautiful it is. Huh? We as a Muslims, our colors may be different, our languages may be different, our dresses may be different, huh? our food may be different, but our deen is one, our Rabb is one, huh? our Nabi is one. Huh, brother? So Dinuhum Wahidun wa Rabbuhum Wahidun. So Rabbuhum again Mudaf Mudafili. For Nabiyuhum Wahidun. Nabiyuhum Wahidun. Huh? Now you want, you can make it mautuf on dinu, or you can make it a complete sentence. Huh? Separate, separate sentences. Are you with me? And then brother, wa kibla tuhum. Kibla tuhum. Now you see kibla tu, what is kibla tu? I know. <laughs> huh? Muftada, more than that. More than that. More than that. It is oneness. What is it? It is oneness. You see ta there. Kiblatun with ta marbuta. So kiblatu hum, now the khabar has to be oneness. So what is the khabar? Wahidatun. I want you to watch these things. Huh? You see, you must watch the khabar, how they are matching the Muftada. That is why I said so many things. When Brother Abdul Samud said this, uh, uh, Mudaf, I said more than that. He said Muftada, I said more than that. I want you to figure out that it is oneness. So the khabar has to be now oneness. Wahidatun. Huh? Otherwise, why Wahidatun would come? Before that, it was Wahidun, Wahidun, Wahidun. Now it is Wahidatun because Kiblatu is oneness. Hum Muslimuna. Hum is Muftada. Where is our khabar? Muslimun. Now, khabar is one word. It has to be marfu. Is Muslimuna marfu? What is the sign of it? <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. But this knowledge, are you listening? This knowledge is the book three knowledge. These are the things. You the lesson number one in book three will start with these things. You know, and you already have a good idea. What will happen? You, you will treat it like halwa puri and digest it very, very quickly, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah have mercy on all of us. We praise Him and glorify Him. And may Allah bless all of us with the knowledge of Quran and His language, inshallah. Okay, so Mal Muslimuna. So she Muslimuna here. Watch carefully. I want you to watch carefully. Hum is our Muftada. And what is Hum? Damirun Munfasilun. Are you with me? Damirun Munfasilun. Okay. Now, if it is Damirun Munfasilun, is it definite or indefinite? Definite. Definite. Okay? It is definite. Huh? So then, 
Mubtada is definite. Muslimuna is it definite, indefinite? It is indefinite because Allah is not there. Are you with me? Now, whom Muslimuna? They are all Muslims. Now, that same Muslim becomes Muqtada. And see how it changed. What is it? Al Muslimun. Now it is coming as a Muqtada. When it came as a Khabar, it was Muslimun without Al. Now Muqtada is definite. So Al Muslimun. And now what is Ikhwatun? Again indefinite. Muslims are brothers. Are you with me? Al Muslimun. Ikhwatun. Muslims are brothers. I'm trying to emphasize these salient features to you, you know. As much as you can absorb, brothers and sisters, but slowly, slowly, if we observe these things in the sentences, inshallah, inshallah, you won't find it difficult. Inshallah. Why is it uh, akhwatun in the last? Yeah, no, ikhwatun is khabar. Muslims are brother. The Golta is not monas. Akhun, what is the Jama? Ikhwatun and Ikhwanun. Akhun, what is the Jama? You better write it, huh? Because this can become confusing, brother. Akhun, what is the Jama? See how I am writing Hamzatu Kata? Ikhwatun. Brother, this does not say that this is Mu'annas. No. Huh? And what is the... It has got two. Ikhwanun. Huh? There are two jamas. Okay. Uh, well, you know, it should not confuse you. There will be, there'll be times, you know. Fatan. Remember Fatan? What is the jama of Fatan? Anybody remembers? No, Fityatun. Uh, see, fatan, singular. Fityatun. Now, there is a tamarbuta. No, it's not monas. It's just the jama. It's just muzakar. Okay, brother. Haza mudari suna. Mudari suna. What is mudari suna? Mudaf, mudafili. Haza is our muftida. Where is our khabar? Mudari su. Wa huwa mudaf. And now? Mudafili. Ismuhu. Ismuhu. How many words are there? Two. Two. What are they? Mudaf, mudafili. So ismu is your mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And who? Mudafili. Where is the khabar? Ashaykhu. And what is this Bilalun doing here? It is badal, my brothers, sisters. It is our badal. Not badal, huh? Badal. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. Wa huwa min Surya. Huwa muftada min Surya. Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me, Sister Salma? No, I'm confused about Bilalun being a badal because if Haza is far away. Yes, but this is another form of badal. Aina akhuki. What did I say? Aina akhuki. Where is your? Ahu, brother. Huh? Huh? Very ahu, ahuka, ahuki. Aina ahuki. Huh? And then, uh, you ha- uh, hopefully you have a brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm addressing wrong person. <laughs> Don't worry. Say you have a brother, Muhammad. Huh? No, no, no. But then if you have a brother, Muhammad, then I will say, Aina ahuki, Muhammadun. So what is Muhammadun? It is a badal for Ahu. If I say to you, Aina Muhammadun, you understood that I am talking about your brother. If I say, Aina Akhuki, you all know I am talking about your brother. But now I say, Aina Akhuki Muhammadun. So what is Muhammadun? Badal for Ahu. Are you with me? So, Ashaykhu is our khabar. Huh? And then Bilalun is the badal for Shaykh. No, it can be definite. Huh? If I say, Hada Muhammadun, is Muhammadun definite or indefinite? Definite. definite. It can come as a definite. Huh? 
But most of the time I said it is indefinite. Most of the time. Uh, it will be easier to recognize, you know, Al Sheikhu will be a brother. <laughs> let us, let us don't uh, start our own, uh, uh, don't try to invent your own wheel now. <laughs> the wheel has been invented, we follow it. Huh? So this is more eloquent, Salim. This is more eloquent. Ismuhu huh? Ashaykhu Bilalun. He's a Shaykh Bilal. Huh? No, no, remember, after Ismu Ushara, immediately if the noun comes with Al, then that is the Badal for Ismu Ushara. In this case, it's, uh, it's not, uh, it will be after a noun, and you will be able to figure out. Huh? Okay, I gave you an example. Huh? If I ask you, Aina Akhuka Muhammadun, so Akhuka, and then Muhammadun, what is Muhammadun? If I say Akhuka, Akhuka, your brother. Then what is Muhammad? Muhammad is the name of your brother. So then Muhammad is Badal for Akhu. Huh? So, yes. No, one second. Huh? Ismuhu, his name is, what is his name? Ashaihu. And then Bilalun. So Bilalun is the Badal for Shaykh. If I say Ismuhu Bilalun, then there is no badal coming. Huh? But if I say Ismuhu Ashaykhu, or if I say Ismuhu Addukturu, and then I put a name, huh? then that name becomes badal for Duktur or Ashaykh. Sahi? It will come. We have already done it. Huh? Inshallah, it will come, and we will always be pointing it out, Inshallah. Yes, Brother Abdus Samad. Uh, just say that uh, to, make, to clear it, is it to understand the definition of what badal is? Or what is a badal? Uh, badal uh, substitute. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying for the understanding of it is to understand what is badal, not just to say badal. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, do you all understand badal? Badalun. The noun is badalun. What is the meaning of badalun? Substitute. What is it? Substitute. We say what is the substitute for it? Okay? Fine. Inshallah, it's substitute. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Hada Mudari Suna. This is our teacher. His name is Shaykh Bilal. And he's from Syria. Huwa Rajulun Salehun. See? Nat Manut. Huwa Rajulun. Salihun, Muftada, Khabar, Naat. Nahnun nuhibbuhu kathiran. Now again, this is a verb which there is no substitute, so Dr. Abdurrahim has to bring this verb, nuhibbu. We will be doing it later on. I do not want to start something now. <laughs> we love him. We love him very much. Brother and sisters, when you will analyze this sentence in later on, you will be amazed at the meaning and all these things come in the Quran. This is the style which comes in the Quran. Brother. So, Nahnu is your Bhaktida. And where is your khabar? Nohibbuhu. 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 We love him. Huh? So, what is this who doing which is a Damir? Huh? Okay, this is what we are learning, going to learn very soon, inshallah. We, you know, in the past we said, when the <coughs> pronoun is attached to noun, we get mudaf mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to preposition, we get char majur. And when the pronoun is attached to zarf, we get zarf and mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to verb, what is it? When the pronoun is attached to verb, what do we get? That verb becomes object. Are you with me? That becomes object. What do you call that? Mafulun bihi. This is coming in lesson 5, book 2. Okay? 
and it is book two is going to be very interesting very very interesting huh? so nuhibbu who nuhibbu we love love whom whom do you love who so who is your maful but that, don't worry huh? because i will explain you in detail many things and it will become so interesting inshallah and so very easy Okay, but then what is this kathiran? Is it dun, dun, din? It is dun. What is din? What is dun? Mafulun mutlaq. This is mafulun mutlaq. But then you will not appreciate or understand this kathiran now. But once you go deep into mafulun mutlaq, you will love this concept. This is a very special concept in Arabic language. You know, it's so beautiful, brother. And it comes in the Quran all the time. So, we will do it, inshallah. So far, so good, brothers and sisters. Inshallah. When the pronoun joins, you are very clear. Huh? No, no, no garbar there. Huh? It's all very clear. Huh? Okay. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majroorun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, we get zarf and mudaf ilayhi. In book two, you, you won't hear from me this. <laughs> It is over. It is only related to book one. Huh? Okay. Ajib anil as'ilati laatiyati. Answer the following question. Al as'ilatu. What is al as'ilatu? What is the singular, Sister Salma? Al as'ilatu. Sualun. Sualun is the singular. Huh? Very good. Aina hadhil madrasatu. Where is this school? What will you say? From the jum, from the darsa, here, karibatun. Are you see with me? Minal masjidi. You will write it inshallah. Okay. Yesterday I was, uh, you know, thinking. I always emphasize, brother, write, write. Do your homework, you know. So then I realized that I used to say in my different class something else, you know. Uh, I had heard this song long time ago. I only remember one thing, you know. And then I made up my own things out of it, you know. You have you heard the word jogi, huh? Sister Memuna, jogi. You haven't heard the word? It's very popular word in India, Pakistan, especially in Hindu religion. There are jogis, huh? J O G I, huh? jogi. Huh? These are the people who renounce the world. They got nothing to do with the world. Huh? They go in the forest and worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay. They, they, they don't have any concern with the world. They renounce it. But when they get hungry, what, they have, what happens? Then they go from door to door and beg for food. But they don't want to work. They don't want to, don't want to earn. They want to just pray. Okay, this is not allowed in Islam. Huh? We have to lead our normal life. We have to earn our bread and butter. We have to marry, have children, look after our families, but they just go in the forest and then they pray, they say. So their dresses are different, they, their outlook is different, and they have a little thing, you know, and then they go from door to door to back food, you know. But they are very popular in, in uh, literally works and in their concept, you know. So there was there was this little uh, uh, song, you know. Ji me aata hai ke main jogi banu. 
वट इज द मीनिंग जी में आता है आई फील इन माई हार्ट दैट आई मस्ट बिकम अ जोगी यू नो रिनाउंस द वर्ल्ड गो इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड प्रे डे एंड नाइट यू नो बट देन ही रियलाइज वट अबाउट माई फूड देन ही से दर बदर मुझसे फिर आए जाता नहीं आई कैनोट गो डोर टू डोर एंड बैग फूड दिस आई कॉन्ट डू इट तो देर फॉर आई कैनोट बिकम जोगी सो आई चेंज इट इन टू माई ओन थिंग यू नो जी में आता है कि मैं अरबी सीखू आर यू विथ मी I feel that I must learn Arabic. Okay, ji me aata hai ke main Arabi sikhu. Then, then I scratch my head. <laughs> Homework mujh se kiya hai jata nahi. <laughs> What is my problem? <laughs> I can't do homework. But then how will you learn Arabic? Are you with me? <laughs> जी में आता है कि मैं अरबी सीखू होमवर्क मुझ से किया है जाता नहीं तो दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम बदर बट आई थिंक वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी बिकम लाइक दैट पर्सन वी आर गोइंग टू डू आवर होमवर्क इन शायद बिकॉज नो फेन no gain brother we cannot fool ourselves okay brothers aina hadhihi al madrasatu hiya qaribatun min al masjid kam baban laha so you will bring laha in the beginning kam baban laha laha salasatu abwabin beautiful exercise with answers coming from the book and it will give you immense pleasure inshallah am mughlaqatun abwabuha alana am maftuhatun are the door closed or open what will be your answer abwabuha maftuhatun alana are you with me all the answers are there in the book huh? kam nafizatan fi hadha al fasli what will you say fihi nafizatan kabiratan if you even say nafizatan that is good enough there are two windows okay kam taliban fi hadha al fasli what will you say fihi asharatu tulabin i hope you are following me is it clear very easy brother if i say easy i really mean it huh? it is easy okay